G'day. G'day, Cobbers. Welcome back. So what we're going to do now is um, plant a little seed. A little bit of running. Actually, let's go the other way. Let's go the sneaky way. Yeah, yeah, let's go the fast travel sneaky way. If we're lucky, we'll get that, that extra crop of bandits. <laughs> this is a pretty good shortcut. Let's go this way. I mean, I'm kind of already going this way, so let's 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 keep going this way. And let's see if they're down there. Ah, oh, they're not. I can't I can't catch any luck with these bandits. Alright, well, they're not there. Might as well take the free stuff. Oh, they are in here, though. I'm going to take your small coin pouch and your little bit of cash money and your other coin pouch. Ah, yeah. It's my coin pouch now. That'll learn you. Look at him nicking stuff. I love my little pawns. So, up the side of the Mamma Mia trail. And it's actually at the top of the Mamma Mia Trail that I'm going to drop the um, port, the port, oh, maybe not. It's a tough call. I'm really disinterested in stopping for wolves, but I will stop for the giant rocks. Stop the rock, can't stop the rock. Oh, what do you mean no item? What happened to all my, oh, I've used them all up. Oh, isn't that just the way? Isn't that always the way? So I've got to watch my stamina now. I've I've used up all my staminas. So we will be coming back here a couple of times, but only a couple of times. So, you know. I've come here to hit you on the head. Like that. Just like that, on the head. And I'm going to put a port crystal up here because this looks like a great place for a port crystal. Yay! Have you come looking for a fight? Not really, no. No, I haven't really. No. So let's go down here. We're going to go straight over to that building over there, over yonder. Now, along the way, you might meet some Saurians. So you can avoid the Saurians by kind of Cutting down here to the left. And we are just going sort of straight ahead down there, so I'm not going to worry too much about the Saurians, but, you know, a bit of crock whacking. Boom! That sort of stuff. They love it! They're not that swift. See? Swift. Pfft. Tell you who's swift. These guys are swift. So now you've got these bandits. Now these bandits are total mongrels. They're really powerful. I'm level a billion, and it's they're still taking a couple of hits. It's so nice to be down here with four people. mean fresh meat? What's that about? And who's this guy in the dress? Running away. Yeah, two hits mate. Me hitting you and the ambulance hitting 90. 
Wow, clones. Let's come in here and say hi to Morley. Morley, Morley. Actually, you know what? Let's use the... We're going to be very smart with these port crystals, what I done did buy. I'm going to put another one of them right here near Baldy. I sense something I haven't sensed for a long time. Something, something. We're wearing the same hat! You look able enough. Yeah, you're short. But I've no patience for pop. I'm a man of substance, you see. Barely. I have a policy of speaking only with folks possessed of their own will. We've our own ways of testing the strength of a fellow's will here. If you the stomach. Mm. One can prove a man's will but his actions. I see where this is going. A band like mine together. Results. If you would walk among us, you'll adopt the same philosophy. Which is to say, you'll do as you're told. Oh, what? Two paths before you. The first is to quash the competition. To the northwest lies a rival band of thieves. See a few of their numbers laid to rest. Permanent. Second is to rid us of a traitor. There is one who broke his oath, left this place without my leave. Find him. See that he reaps the consequences. Make your choice. I can't. Who's Dancy? Do one of these, and I will know you for a person of will. We shall talk of recompense there. All right, we're going to go and help Morley. Who's this? Not to say to you. Yeah, stop dancing at me, pal. If you want to break off, if that's what you're looking for, I'll bring it. Okay, so, there are a bunch of options before us. Um, now, what we're going to do is go and find the traitor, and the traitor is in Cassidus. What we need is a thief, someone who moves very quickly, someone who was alone. That's right. It's the dude you caught at the start of the game. The bandit trader is definitely here in Cassidus. This is where bandit traders wind up. Sup, bandit trader? He's always hanging down the water. Probably thinking, gee, it's nice by the water. There he is, Band of Trader. Maul spoke of me. They know me for a traitor. I, I'd little doubt they would. Maul took me in as a boy. Said he saw promise in me. And here I've given him naught for all he's done. Just up and left. They're thieving now too. You're the arisen, sir. May have you would know best. So you got lots of options. Yeah, I do. But surprisingly... You have the right of it. Send him back to thieving. To do. I cannot run from the oaths I've sworn. I shall return as you say. Because not, I shall walk to my death. But at least I shall die a man. I thank you, sir. And he will now bugger off back to Morley. Now, the advantage of him buggering off back to Morley. The way I heard it, the guards in Grants. What can I do you for? You think fine. So be it. Is that you got a chance to you got an excuse to go back to Morley with the job done. So stay overnight. Seems a fair place to rest. And if you come out, just because, you know Glitch he hasn't in the twelve hours you slept walked those 30 feet but he will and as soon as he goes through those gates you can fast travel off to Morley however this is what I was looking for earlier he's our boy Have you seen Valmiro? Valmiro hmm no I wager he's on another mad quest for flowers or bugs or whatever takes his fancy of late it's a bother but we can't very well leave him to wander off to his death would you help me find him? Yes. Many thanks, cousin. 
We should ask the other villagers for all else. One of them must have someone. So, the Valmiro quest, which we are going to say yes to, is interesting. It just has you running around a lot. But before you do, make sure you've got lots and lots of green warish. Because he keeps hurting himself and he needs green warish. Basically, in a nutshell. Help, help, I'm in a nutshell. Yeah, pretty good at Arrow. And you, mate? She there? She there? She there? She there? Oh, she's not even here. Yeah. Okay. So the first place you're going to find Valmiro is actually down by the water. Ask this dude if you've seen him. Have you seen Valmiro, mate? Valmiro? Forgive me, sir. I've yet to meet all the people of this village. Though, one moment... I did see a young fisherman, not unlike you described, near the shore. Seemed a kind enough lad, if a bit unawares, as if his mind was elsewhere. Bit stupid. Bit stupid, more like it. So, Valmiro wants to adventure, wants a life full of joy, but is a bit of a muppet. And as such, has managed to get himself mostly dead mostly and there he is there that's the first time you meet him we're going to chase this mongrel thrice so first time there he is come up and say how do happy to help you muppet many plants grow in the shade that was a bad idea please herbs I need herbs. Really? Okay, have a green warish. Now, don't do it again. Many thanks, Scott. Might I ask what brings you so far afield? You, Muppet. You came in pursuit of me. Forgive me, Cos. I guess it's nothing new. Yeah, sort it what out. What can I say? I seize upon some idea. Perhaps I should say the idea seizes me, and before I know it, well, I suppose all is well enough now. I'll go back to the village with all speed. I shall endeavor to limit my future explorations to nearby the encampment. Mm, nearby the encampment is your clue. There he goes, but I've learned what to do in this quest. We got to track him down, and the quickest way is actually to go on the beach. The beach is a good shortcut, and if you come here at night, um, this is full of goblins, which is a great place to pick up those discipline points early in the game. So there's the encampment, and you can see we're pretty much making a straight line for it when we run along the beach, which is totes ice. But the second place you find Valmiro is just before the encampment in the bush. Over there, see? See, there he is. Idiot. Fool. This road is frequented by not again. Yep. Herbs. Two herbs for this herbert. Take your drugs and bugger off. <laughs> I am eternally. Eternally, enough. really? I, do I believe you? After my last trial. I thought to bring herbs of my own, but they were used all before I took notice. Seems a caution is first to go when inspiration strikes. Hmm. Still, I count this journey a success, made more so by your fine company. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps hmm. to the Witchwood next. Oh no, come on now. Oh, Valmiro. Little bastard. While we're here at the encampment, pop on in. And let's have a little look at the uh, the old notice board. No, notice board's empty. We're all good to go. Revise our party? Well, I did, I did level up. Maybe we can ditch some of these Herberts and upgrade 
Uh, lady, let's give all this to Spike. Lady's pretty good. She's just garnered lots of stuff. Wow. Should probably keep Lady. She just really picks up the gear. You know what? This is going to take me forever. Let's do it here. If you deposit stuff, it's way quicker. I'll show you. See? Heaps quicker. And Lady has definitely been picking up. We're going to keep Lady. She's great at grabbing stuff. Look at all that clobber. Alright, Lady, you can stay. Alright, what about Sailor? You know what? You guys are doing a pretty good job. Yeah, look, we'll keep you both. We'll stay till morning. Hang around till morning and uh, we'll take the ladies and now we're going to fast travel across to... Ooh, where's good? That one. So I'm going to actually collect the um, port crystal here and fight our way down closer to the Witchwood, which is really where you want to put it. So I'm combining a few quests because they're near each other. Uh, yes, please. Wasn't really much of a, you know, triumph. But I am going to walk down here because our boy is at the Witchwood. Well, if I were you, I'd hold something back. Oh, really? It's going to be like that, huh? There you go. That's so dead. I'm really not too worried about the Wallace. Remember, you can run right past them, but we're not actually going into the Witchwood. What? No. You're on your own. But what I'm going to do is, just between these two trees, I'm going to pop my port crystal here. And then head into the Witchwood. Because our boy, because he's an idiot, is hanging just on the right hand side after you walk inside. Because he's an idiot. There he is. He's just there on the ground. Give him three herbs. A thousand apologies, Scott. Somehow you always end up bearing my burden. You're not wrong, Muppet. I considered myself well equipped this time, truly. But my stores were heavy. The monster was quick of foot. And I lacked the everyday sense to avoid such a mess in the first place. In the future, I shall confine my explorations to the village proper. These wanderings of mine lead only to trouble. I'll straight away to home, and no delay. You have my word on this. There he goes. And this time he actually will. Which is kind of nice. So he's safely on his way. But we're not going to go back to Castus. We're actually going to go to Vistard Hills. Because remember, Pike is there with Morley. Morley. We're combining our quests here. So, if you 
drop the port crystal where I told you to. Yeah, you pass those problematic bandits and they won't come in. Turn on the correct quest. We're going to keep the port crystal because I got plans. Oh, wow. Really? Say, I am well surprised to see our traitor Ailes resolved, so he is here. Pike has come back. Our law has ever held death for Oathbreakers. Knowing that, he still came back. Said his life was ours to take in recompense for his betrayal. He left us to thieve alone, then became some innkeep's pet when he failed even at that. He was a weakling. Boy. On fortune's time. Bit harsh. But now, after meeting you, he returned. He made his choice. Proved the strength of his will. I thought it only fitting to reward such growth. So I've decided to forgive his Hooray! now. To the state of execution. You have proven your will arisen. In return, I grant you freedom. You're an equal among us now. The freedom to follow your own will where it takes you is a precious thing indeed. Here, bring this whene'er you wish to pass. Hi, the Grimoire is here with me. Sadly, I've no now if it where. So we can also If I recall, there's a treasure chest to talk this vault's tower. The Iron Hammer dwells within a hold near the sun. Aye, the Grim sadly now where So he won't give you the Grimoire, but you can just take it. No. Sometimes he will. I can't quite work out how to get him to do it, but he says no, so you know. Follow where I'm going and you won't meet any opposition and you can have the Grimoire. We're just going up, basically. Lots and lots of up. More up. Even more up. And more up still. And Grimoire. Now, before we leave this area, we're actually going to go right there above my head, which is the beach. We're going to go to the beach. There's a couple of people who want to go to the beach. I like them. I'm pro beach. We're going to go to the beach. I'm going to fall. When I say fall, I'm actually just going to drop. There we go. So we're going to walk. Um, we're not going to run too fast. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to save. And the reason I'm saving is my plan is to walk all the way down to Bloodwater Beach. And when I get to Bloodwater Beach, drop a port crystal. But, sometimes, when you go across this area, you summon a griffin. Now, if that happens, it'll be on for young and old, and we may not make it out of there. Also, I'm conscious of the fact that I have no, um, like, Zip Zally Zero mushrooms. Which means I've got no stamina regen at all. So we're just going to walk this fast and I'm going to sort of talk to you a bit about what's out here while we go through this weird cow area. Now don't kill the cows, but if you desperately need beast steak, you can kill the cows. Um, personally, I think they look lovely. I think Capcom's done a great job of having the cows and the pigs be things that you don't kill. Um, there, are, There is the odd chest. And it would be churlish not to say thank you very much. Don't care about poison arrows. I'll take the Angel's Periapt. We're still going through. Ironically, those traps have never seemed to actually do anything. Now we're going to be dealing with quite a few goblins here. <coughs> 
It's great to know that Lady and T'other One are desperately grabbing heaps and heaps of stuff. And these are Grand Grapes, and they give you lovely little health bonus benefits. So we'll just pick them up while we're walking past them. And you can see we're walking across a battlefield. It's hard to tell what kind of battles went on here, whether it was just Goblin v Goblin or other people versus Goblins. Looks like Goblin v Goblin to me. But the world is beautifully realised. Sup, fellas? Bonk. Well, you don't have to kill it with arrows. Now, we're going up there first to show you something you can do at the start of the game if you are a fighter. A sword and board if you need a basically if you need a sword or a dagger um, a sword or a dagger well worth grabbing up here so I'm hoping I'm gonna save first and let's explain it right that thing there on my left this thing right here this is a golem and over here is a fantastic sword in a stone item. So what you should do is you should jump up to here, save, then gather. Now in this case I picked up a steel greatsword, which is lovely. And you can have a look at it and see that it's completely weak as, weak as chips compared to what I've already got. But I'm going to... No, I'm not going to move to equipment. I'm going to give it to someone. Let's give it to Sailor. And we'll give that to Sailor. Because I don't want to carry stuff. But basically you can just resave and re reload and reload and reload and reload here. Until you get either the Scalding Daggers, which are a pair of Fire Daggers. Or... Um, a Fire Sword. Now... Golems and Golem Attack. You can see they have a bunch of amulets on them. And the amulets... Nothing I do means anything except for hitting those amulets. So you really want to make sure that you are hitting the bits with the actual amulets. Which is what my pawns are trying to do. Okay, we got that amulet. That's not such a terrible idea. We're almost there. We've got one more amulet somewhere. It'll be somewhere tricksy. Where is it? I can't see it. Someone's hitting it. Oh, it's glowing, which means it's going to explode. So stand back. Because then it goes red, and red is bad. Red means it's going to go burko. Oh, it's on the inside of its hand. So now you can see where the amulet is that you don't have. So literally, you can't do you can't do anything when it's like this. It's just going to shoot laser beams at you and be a total bastard. Unless you got some mad skills with the bow, in which case you can just shoot the right bit. So, all of my lovely pawns are collecting and collecting and collecting for me, which is just great. Thank you, lady. Go get it all. Well done. Now, that little, that little guy is worth picking up early in the game because... He's worth picking up early in the game because he, you get a whole bunch of experience points for it and also um, coming over here and gaming that chest and you know, quitting and reloading and quitting and reloading on that chest is a really good way of getting a fantastic uh, sword super early or a fantastic fire set of daggers super early, both of which are really, really strong. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here for this episode because next episode we're gonna go down there into Bloodwater Beach.
Mm, you know what? Let's just do it. It won't take too long. It won't take too long. So, basically, there's the ocean and the beaches that away. But you can sort of jump down if you're careful. There are a few chests around here, but they don't really contain much. That's fabulous. Um, I don't think they're worth it. But I'll show you at least, you know, have a look at this. See, for example, got some mama's wear. see that which actually is pretty good for early on in the game but not something she wants to wear at the moment the canyon floor is an apt spot to find ourselves around you best be careful another one a seeker's token another one a seeker's token and if you collect 50 of those that's a quest The odd chest lives up there, but at this, you know, at this stage, there's nothing really great there. And we're, you know, we're at level 111 or 12 or something, and they're still not amazing. So, Bloodwater Beach, I'm going to totally drop my port crystal. And come over here and check out the two chests. Liquid Vim, yes. Argents, yeah, don't chain mail, maybe. Someone's picked it up. Good. So first of all we'll go and grab our tourists from Grand Soren. And after we grab our tourists from Grand Soren, we'll go and have a little look see at uh Cassidus. Now the reason you want to actually clear these boards, apart from the fact that, you know, it's fun, um is that you can't get new quests until you clear out the old quests. And some of the later quests are really good fun. Hello, hello. What's all this then? Alright, we'll take Barnaby there. You know what? While we're here, I'm, I'm going to take out a Wakestone Shard. Uh, two of those. What will it be to Have your pick. Come again. Business. And now I'm going to go and take Barnaby to Bloodwater Beach. Because he likes it. Plus, I enjoy, you know, just Barnaby and I hanging out, watching the sun set, you know, together on the beach. Me and my pawn. And three other pawns. I do like the Greco idea of, you know, beaches and lots and lots of, like, very much Iliad Odyssey kind of stuff. There he is. Well done, Barnaby. Glad you enjoyed yourself, mate. I'm going to check out my bros in Cassidus. I thought there was a tourist there looking for a lift. I could be wrong, but I thought there was. So we're going to very quickly go and have a look there. And just... Just make sure. I thought maybe Adaro wanted to go somewhere. I could be wrong. He's already gone to Shadow Fort, hasn't he? Madeline? Madeline, maybe? Maybe Madeline wants to go to the Blood Fort. Maybe, she, maybe it's Madeline? Clemente! I don't know who that is, but yes. Who's Clemente? I want to wait, I wanna wait and see who Clemente is. Oh, the priest! Priest wants to go to Bloodwater Beach. Well, why not? Let's give the priest a lift. His money is as good as anybody else's. So we'll say a great big yes. And we will enjoy the sun setting together. Thank you. Thank you for the money. Yeah, appreciate it. And just before we finish, one last touching 
um, moment before we head back to Grand Soren and cash in a few quests next episode. Right near the Pawn Guild, uh, there's a quest that requires you to have one Wakestone Shard on you. And come along here and you see a suffering father. And this is a lovely quest. It's short, but wonderful. Merciful Maker. Sure. Thank you, sir. Tell me all about it, mate. This child is, is my son. Was my son. What happened? Heart stopped not a few hours past. Stopped hard, hey? Hmm. Always weak, sweet heart. Since he was born a babe. I had long known he would not live long. To see it, to watch him slip from my grasp. I am left with naught but rage at my impotence. I hear you, mate. As a father myself. means that I might to bring him back, I look to magic. He curses anything to bring him back to me. I know it's for madness, but still I hear. Pray, accept thee, sir. The first of those stones I bought from a merchant my son and I passed in our travels. He spoke of a powerful magic within him. Gather rocks such as this together, he said, and even the dead shall wake. That's true. That I am one to blindly believe in such tales. But still, I thought there no harm in trying. None whatsoever. And so I searched. But by the time I found a second, the whole pursuit rang hollow. It is a vain hope to seek immortality in such trinkets, I know. I felt a fool. So now, help him out. Whenever you have three shards together, they automatically form a wake stone. That's a very important thing to know about the game that will become super important later on. A miracle. It is a miracle. Ha ha. There are a couple of father-son moments in this game. It's one of the reasons I guess I love it. Sweet Wilhelm. And no, it's not the giant killer robot from Borderlands. It's a totally different Wilhelm. So we'll leave it here with the father and son reunited and catch you next time. See ya.